It seems like everyone is going vegan these days, especially celebrities. Lizzo is cooking up a vegan storm on TikTok. Jon Stewart now has a vegan farm animal sanctuary. Natalie Portman's Instagram feed is a full-on plant-based cooking show. Here are 10 more celebrities before and after going vegan. Have you seen part one yet? Watch it here. Number one, Ava DuVernay. American filmmaker Ava DuVernay, the director behind the BAFTA award-winning 2016 documentary 13th and 2019 Netflix miniseries When They See Us, was crowned one of PETA's most beautiful vegan celebrities of 2018. She tweeted in 2017, like many food trends that seem new, black veganism has historical roots. For a lot of black people, it's also about social justice and food access. The food we've been eating has been killing us. Number two, Lizzo. Three-time Grammy Award-winning singer Lizzo went vegan in 2020, but Lizzo isn't new to veganism. She previously followed a vegetarian diet for seven years and was plant-based for one year. The Detroit native has been sharing her culinary creations on the social media platform TikTok, ranging from meatless Jamaican beef patties to a plant-based version of the McChicken sandwich. She even shared her favorite hangover meal. So being plant-based and vegan has been pretty easy except for when I am hung over. In the video, she made a meal of just vegan egg, spinach, dairy-free pepper jack cheese, and a carne asada and black bean corn mixture with meat-free bacon on the side. Now she's even giving raw veganism a try for the health benefits. Since being vegan, I've found that I'm doing a lot of like meat substitute. Whether it's like Tipe or jackfruit or Beyond Burger or whatever. So I'm gonna try to be raw for a little bit just to really get, you know, a sense of like pure raw veganism. In another Instagram story, she encouraged all of her followers, no matter what their diet, to eat at least one plant based meal a day. She said, you have no idea how many benefits that are in these vegetables that are just growing for us. So whether it's a smoothie, a salad, or a piece of fruit, being plant-based is not just a vegan lifestyle, it's life. Enjoy your day, drink some water, eat some plants. Number three, James Cameron. Academy Award-winning director James Cameron went vegan nearly a decade ago for the good of the planet, but the switch also came with health benefits. In a 2017 interview with Men's Journal, he said, The great thing about this as a solution for climate change, one of a number of solutions that we need, is that it's a win-win. You're going to be healthier, you're going to live longer, you're going to look better. Cameron helped debunk the myth that a plant-based diet is unhealthy with the 2018 documentary The Game Changers, which he produced. The film follows former professional mixed martial artist James Wilkes as he meets with elite athletes and icons including Arnold Schwarzenegger, German-Armenian strongman Patrick Baboumian, Olympic silver medal cyclist Dotsie Bausch, and six-time Formula One racing champion Lewis Hamilton, among others. Number 4. Maya Singer, actor, and producer Maya has been vegan since 2014. The Grammy Award-winning artist went vegetarian as part of a six-month challenge in 2010 and adopted a plant-based diet in 2014 as part of another six-month challenge. She said that the switch made her feel healthier. In a 2017 interview, she said, It's definitely helping me because I don't have to work out as hard, and I look better and feel better than I did a couple of years ago when I was not vegan. She also veganized her wardrobe. She said, I'm not wearing leather shoes, and I have not worn furs since a long time ago. In 2018, she appeared in a PETA ad alongside fellow vegan celebrities Ivana Lynch, Harley Quinn Smith, and Daniela Monet, encouraging others to ditch fur, leather, and wool. She's also an entrepreneur. Maya founded the vegan wine brand Planet Nine Fine Wine by Maya in June 2018. Number five, RZA. Wu-Tang Clan frontman RZA has been vegan for well over 20 years. He cut red meat out of his diet in 1995, gave up poultry and fish in 1996 and 1997 respectively, and has been a vocal proponent of veganism ever since. To be honest with you, bro, I just, you know, I just hit you with this right here. The reality, how I feel, no animal needs to die for me to live, okay? 
His two sons are vegan as well. Riza said that his household is a living example that you don't need animal products to live. While he acknowledges the health benefits of being plant-based, Riza often speaks up for animal rights. In January 2018, he appeared in a PETA video titled, We're Not Different in Any Important Way. We are all the same in all the ways that matter. It doesn't matter if we have fur or feathers or fins. We're not different in any important way. We all have thoughts and feelings. We all feel love and pain and loneliness and joy. He is also a supporter of New York City's proposed bill to ban the sale of fur, even writing an open letter to city council members. He wrote, Though it may be argued by some that fur used to show elite status in our community because of the inequality we face in society, those days are done. That's reflected in a poll that shows 77% of Black New York City voters support the bill. Riza has also had a big impact on fellow members of the Wu-Tang Clan. Eight out of ten group members don't eat meat. Number 6. Natalie Portman Actor and producer Natalie Portman went vegetarian at age 9 and has been vegan since 2011. She says that reading Jonathan Safran Foer's 2009 book Eating Animals, about the ethics of industrial animal agriculture and our food choices, pushed her to ditch all animal products. In a 2011 article for the Huffington Post, she wrote, Perhaps others disagree with me that animals have personalities, but the highly documented torture of animals is unacceptable, and the human cost Ford describes in his book, of which I was previously unaware, is universally compelling. The book had a lasting impact on the Academy Award-winning actor. She produced the 2017 documentary adaptation of Eating Animals. Her children follow a plant-based diet as well. During quarantine, she's taken to Instagram to share her favorite vegan recipes such as lentil salad with roasted sweet potatoes and kale, leeks with homemade croutons, and beet and potato salad. Number 7. Usher Usher announced that he went plant-based in May 2020 during a live show on Twitter to support small businesses affected by COVID-19. During Verizon's Pay It Forward live concert, he said, It's very important to know that a healthy option is plant-based. I've actually started that journey myself. I want you guys to understand that boosting your immune system is also to what you eat, not just staying inside. He also partnered with Chef Shea, a vegan chef from Jay's Kitchen Culinary Incubator. Usher donated 2,000 vegan meals to families in need through Vegan Air, an Atlanta-based vegan restaurant. Chef, but the, the cool thing about it is kids love what they love. They love lasagna, they love meatballs, they love, and even some of the parents do love meatloaf. So I wanted to create something that I felt would be nourishing, uh, but also to be filling a hearty meal. And, um, so that's what we put together. Those meals are go still going out. Number eight, Russell Brand. Actor, comedian, and podcaster Russell Brand has been meat-free since age 14, after hearing the Smiths' iconic 1985 song, Meat is Murder. He later went vegan, primarily for health reasons. After watching the 2017 documentary, What the Health, directed by Kip Anderson and Keegan Coon. During his recovery live tour, Brand said, What the health with this dude, Kip Anderson, sort of talks, he showed how like the, the diabetes, heart and cancer foundations of America were funded by like sort of meat and dairy and egg industries. Like, like, and they give the advice on what foods are healthy. And we've, that's not what we're, been, we're not meant to eat any of that. So the reason to come vegan, it was sort of like anger, actually thinking about it now. That wasn't the first time Brand has praised what the health. Anderson was a guest on his podcast, Under the Skin, in 2019. Brand told the director, When people are awakened, they don't want to have the blood of people or animals on their hands. Number 9. Ruby Rose Ruby Rose began her transition to a vegan diet in 2013. Learning where shark fin soup came from helped the Orange is the New Black star make the connection between food and animals. During a Discovery Channel special, Shark After Dark, in June 2018, the actor said, I thought that it was even worse that they just cut the fins off and the sharks were out there and not able to move. That really scared me, and I used to have nightmares that they were finless in the ocean, and I couldn't eat any fish ever again. She is also vocal about encouraging followers to ditch animal products. 
Following a 2018 salmonella outbreak, Rose wrote to her Instagram followers, good time to go vegan folks. Rose is also an investor in plant-based meat brand Impossible Foods and plant-based drink brand Rebel. Number 10, Jon Stewart. Former host of The Daily Show, Jon Stewart went vegetarian in 2015, around the time of his departure from the Comedy Central News satire program. In an interview with Rip Esselstyn, founder of the Engine 2 Plant Strong Diet, Stewart said that thanks to his wife Tracy, author of the 2015 book Do Unto Animals, he realized that pigs and other animals have their own personalities. So he went vegan. The Stewarts now operate a small sanctuary, Hawk Hoxson Farm Foundation in New Jersey. While he was a guest on the Joe Rogan Experience podcast, he spoke in detail about what prompted his lifestyle change. He compared caring for the animals at his sanctuary to running a nursing home due to how they have been genetically engineered to grow abnormally fast. Like, you can't believe the fragility of factory farmed animals. Like, they are mm. to be sick, like pneumonia, uh, like genetically designed to gain too much weight for their mm. legs. How did going vegan change your life? Let us know in the comments below. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more Live Kindly videos.